I was in London over the summer and I decided to do a water fast. It's the first time I've ever done such a thing. Why would I do such a thing? I don't know, but I want you to watch this video. Because it seems like everyone is getting sick. And I don't mean like a virus sick. I mean like... Okay, so the word of the day is water fasting. Water fasting. Water fasting. Water fasting. Water fasting in London for about 48 hours. I mean like, like really sick. Like the C word, I don't even like to say the C word. What is this video? This is the Voyager Vault. Welcome to the Voyager Vault. I have way too much footage. I love to record things. As you know, in Voyager Records specializes in music, photo, and film, okay? I love to do that. That's just something I love. You know what I don't necessarily love to do? Edit. But darn it, it's time to start editing. And we're gonna start with this informative video, water fasting. Here's a video of me water fasting in London, England over the summer when I was visiting my wife's family and I was out there filming for Julian Marley and my ish music group. Along the way, I decided to lock myself up in a room and put myself through an ultimate test, a water fast. So everything that you're about to see is real, it's in time. This is me walking around in London in a daze after not eating for 48 hours. And I've never done that before. I will probably do it again. I think there's a lot of benefit. very first water fast. Never done that. Um, I was in London and I was feeling claustrophobic and I was thinking, well, I haven't ever had a reason or an opportunity to try it. I don't think I could ever pull this off in LA. Not because the food is so amazing and so accessible and so easy to get fat, but just because I'm working too much and I'm moving too much. So in order to really do this water fast correctly, I had to like really stay still. And to be honest, this is the most I've moved in the last 48 hours. Um, and how do I feel? Lightheaded. Um, I did a guitar lesson today. And I thought that I was gonna struggle through that mentally, but my mind was actually quite fine. My mind was, was great. Um, it wasn't truly that difficult. But my body right now, I definitely feel like this nauseating sensation in my throat. I feel lightheaded. I was getting a bit of a headache. My daughter was jumping on the bed and the, the bouncing up and down was really hurting. My frame, my temple was like shaking. Uh, almost like a bit of a, what do you call it? Like a, like an earthquake is what it felt like. No kidding. And, um, the, the earthquake was a bit too much for me. So, I had to get up and I gotta go get a pizza. Not a Domino's pizza. Not a Papa John's pizza. But a real London tea. What did I notice? Inflammation went down a bit. 
overall. I, I do think I was um, having a bit of a sinus infection. I was initially, when I wasn't fasting, I, I had a very dark phlegm, a green phlegm. I don't know if it's allergies. I don't know if it's being away from my LA routine, which consists of superfoods and kombuchas and and ginger and 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 uh, turkey tail mushroom, lion mane's mushroom, real immunity system boosters. For the strangest reason, I feel like I'm always dehydrated in London, but. Through the water fast, I did notice my urine switch colors for pretty much like the first time since I've been here. Um, so that was interesting. For whatever reason, I come to London, I always get so dehydrated. And I don't know why. I just feel incredibly dehydrated. But powering through, even to hold this phone right now, up like this is very challenging hurting my arm physically I do feel very weak mentally slight euphoria slight like a natural high <coughs> pardon me but the detox is real I think it actually worked so I wanted the pizza to break fast 48 hours started this Saturday night it's Monday night all I had was water that's all I've had and like I said I could barely hold this up so here I am my favorite pizza spot fancy peri peri it's actually a chicken spot but they got my pizza my guy and that's it back up out of here got my jam I thought I was gonna sit down and eat it there and um, you know work my body a little bit rest my body but I guess I was wrong about that I might run into a Tesco and maybe grab a coconut water I don't need a coconut water I have water I think I'm just gonna bounce I'm gonna go straight back where I came from with the food in my hand with the energy in my hand and I'm gonna bust it open I might I might sit down somewhere right here and eat this shit. Honestly, kind of that hungry. Ah, oh, running lights. Jay walking in the U. Okay. But, um, why did I do it? Because it seems like everyone is getting sick. And I don't mean like a virus sick. I mean like, like really sick. Like the C word. I don't even like to say the C word. But my wife's family, multiple people impacted by this C word. And my family, multiple people recently impacted by this C word. Now, I can't say it's an American diet because clearly my wife's family has been affected also. Is it just diet in general? Is it just exercise in general? They say it's the food that is hurting us. They say the food is poison, right? Bread and cheese, the very thing that I'm grabbing right now. But they also say, according to scientific evidence, if you let go of food and participate in a water fast, you do something to your body, scientifically speaking. The cells in your body, the bad cells in your body, which are constantly absorbing bad stuff, those cells, they, they are, are, are bad because we're eating junk all the time. And when we eat junk all the time, the cells deteriorate. I've heard zombie cells. I've heard bad cells, whatever you want to call them. You just imagine our body's full of red blood cells, right? And 
there's these green blood cells in there too and these green blood cells cause inflammation yo what's good bro good to see you man been a minute it's been a minute brother one love bless bless so um it's those cells that hurt you those green cells the bad stuff from the fats from the sugars from the breads from the bullshit and when we don't eat anything when we go on a water fast what happens is our red blood cells float throughout our body and they attack these fats they attack these sugars and all of these things that are terrible for us and if we don't work on those i can barely think i think mentally i'm being affected it's my arm my arm is tired holding this up really tired holding this phone crazy how much strength this is taking for me and this walk too i haven't moved i've been laying in bed like non-stop getting up here playing guitar here doing a little editing here on the laptop a little photography settings here and there i was working on my camera game pre-game for this julian marley show i'm about to be filming in a couple days here and i was just getting everything set up and even doing that going through my camera settings was mentally exhausting and physically exhausting and that's when i finally broke i was like you know what i initially said i was going to do 72 hours or even like i don't know 60 would have been nice but i think i made it to about 50 hours 49 maybe 50 hours what time is it i was maybe about 49 or 50 hours no food at all, only water, nothing else, no sugar, no coffee. Haven't had any coffee since I've been in London. So this is like a full, full, full detox. And um, it's an amazing feeling. I'm excited to eat. I don't know what, what that's going to do for me, but I'm excited to slowly eat this meal. Shout out to all my brothers and sisters out there who participate in Ramadan participate in any religious activities that require them to fast I don't think I've ever really gone this long without eating in my life in my entire life but you know they say you can go for I think like 30 days not eating anything at all as long as you have water I think so they say anyways I'm going to eat this, and uh, I feel blessed, and I feel very grateful to have the opportunity to eat this. Definitely going to say an amazing prayer before I swallow this food. And um, if there's anyone out there that's feeling ill or feeling sick, and you feel like you need to um, work on yourself, I want you to know this is a great way to do it. It really is. This is a great way to, to get strong. I just heard Drake playing. They're still playing Drake out here. Anyways, let's see what happens. Um, 48 hours for now, really. But we'll talk more about the breakdown and reflection later. This is just in the moment before the meal. How am I feeling? Exhausted. Cheers. God bless. God is gracious, God is good. Let us thank him for our food, amen. Breaking the fast was very, very difficult and somehow I managed to get through it thanks to my beautiful, supportive wife who was there watching me eat, making sure I didn't pass out the onion rings and the chicken fingers were absolutely amazing. I must say the pizza is spectacular as well. Sorry, Domino's but Fancy Perry Perry is very, very special when it comes to the pizza, pepperoni and olives. The Voyager Eats, but this is not the Voyager Eats. This is the Voyager vlog from the vault. This is the first one of many. I have so many videos to share with you. I have so many stories to tell you. 
how I got here, how I got in this room, how, how I managed to build this studio out and build a label. There's so many stories to tell. There, 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 there's so much unseen. There's so much unheard. I've been working on so much stuff. I can't even tell you about it. I haven't told you about it. And I don't know if I ever will. Or maybe I will. Of course I will. But all in due time. I'm not just going to rush this, right? This is something that you have to earn. And uh, we're here, ladies and gentlemen. We're here. We're here. Welcome to the Voyager Vault. I think you're going to enjoy this series. I'm really trying to take my YouTubing very seriously and my live streaming very seriously. More food. Amen. Was it time No, it's too late. Maybe I shouldn't have it. You tell me I'll fit you up right food. You happy? Best onion I've ever had in my life. Mm. Can I ask why you didn't eat for twenty four forty eight hours? I'm just wanting to try it. I'm going to test myself. Bobby Auntie said she tried to do it once and couldn't do it. For how long? If you did it for one day, the second day was totally off. It's the longest I've ever gone without eating. This is the first time I'm hearing you chew. Mm. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Greece? Yeah, 
thumb was just burning. Weird. That's strange. Hands are tingling. Lightheadedness. Still exhaustion. Times 11. I feel slightly full. First sugar. Uh, 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 uh. You have that little end bit, remember? This one. Yeah, yeah. But no point fasting if you're going to eat fast food and drink sugar. You're supposed to eat fruit. For starters, for sure. But I couldn't resist. I've had this pizza on my mind for a couple days now. Mm. Way better than Domino's. Really? Than Domino's. Mm-hmm. And US Domino's. Hmm? And US Domino's. You know how much? Very weird. In my stomach. Did the bubble like that? One thing I can't say, I felt all two days, 50 hours, I didn't feel any sensation. I thought that my stomach would be growling often. And in fact, my stomach didn't start growling until I ate 50 hours later. Kind of strange. Almost gassy. For a second, it felt like it just ran straight through me. And I was like, damn, do I gotta go sit on the toilet? <sighs> wow. And that's definitely an experience. They say it's good for your skin. I did kind of looked in the mirror before I left. And it did kind of have a little glowing kind of sensation to it. And my, my skin feels a bit tighter. It feels very tight. Especially up there. This feels very tight. Abnormally tight. So good. When it's rich, it's so good. Slight tingling sensations in my feet, stomach, still bubbling. I'm not as tired as I was. Muscle mass, slightly loose. Heart rate, accelerated.
infinitely clarity. Thank you, God. Did I post today? I think I posted, right? I already posted. Yeah. Tingling sensation in my jaw, my mouth. experience. Almost like a delic. Extremely challenging. I'm, I'm telling you, if I wasn't laying in bed for the past two days straight, there's no way this would have happened. If I was doing my regular commute, no way. You really have to rest if you really want to accomplish that. I think I could have maybe made it a little bit longer, but because I got a gig tomorrow, didn't really want to put myself through this, and even then, I'm, I'm glad that I broke it. Because now that I know how exhausting this process is, it feels like this might take a couple hours to process. Whew. Very weird. Very interesting. Hell of an experience. Will I do it again? Maybe. But it's got to be the right circumstances. Gotta be right. All right. Fits. What did I notice? What did I notice? What did I notice? I noticed uh, some tingling sensations in my fingers. I noticed a, a burst of energy on the following day. The following day, I felt like I was a million bucks. In the moment, though, eating was extremely hard. Eating. Oof. What else did I notice from water fasting? It was hard. It was extremely challenging. And if you're going to water fast, make sure you consult with your doctor before doing so. I wouldn't recommend it to everyone, especially if you have any health limitations or, or there's some things that bother you uh, physically. Like consult your doctor before doing this if you are not 100%. Let's just say that much. Otherwise, I do believe everybody should be doing this. I do believe everyone should do this, not only for religious purposes, not only for spiritual purposes, but most importantly, for physicality purposes, for health and wellness purposes. You gotta do this. You got to. Okay? That's it. That's all I got to say. I don't have anything else to say. Enjoy the vlog. Welcome to the Voyager Vault. I think you're gonna enjoy this series. I'm really trying to take my YouTubing very seriously and my live streaming very seriously going forward for the rest of my life.
because this is where it's at. Enjoy. If anyone has any questions about water fasting, please hit me up, send me a DM. Don't forget to hit a like and a subscribe and all that. Uh, we'll be posting a lot, so get ready for all of that. I'm, I'm trying to really just step it up. I got terabytes and terabytes and terabytes of footage to share with you. I have music videos that I still haven't edited. And it hurts. I've edited some of it, but it's not done. Several stories, short films, vlogs, behind the scenes, whatever it may be, I got it. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. And I can't wait to share it with you. This is gonna be fun. Enjoy the vlog. Look at these lights, these lights go. You need some real light in order to make this happen. There's plenty of sunshine in here. Do I have anything else to say? Do I have a rant to, to make? Um, have kids. Have kids. Kids are the greatest part of life. If you are blessed and fortunate enough to be able to have kids, have kids. Um, even, even whatever way you can give back to kids, whatever way you can get some of that energy, Kids are the greatest thing in the world. There's nothing greater than kids. Because kids are life, and life is the greatest thing in the world. And we're put on this planet to create more life, right? Isn't that the whole human existence? Isn't that the whole human experience? Life, creating life, isn't that why we're here? So create life responsibly, and be there responsibly. You know, I think this is the new generation of men and women, I feel Previous generations before us, maybe marriage and long-term marriage wasn't necessarily interesting. But now I think because of the resonating trauma, maybe, is that a big word? Is that a big word? I just know that everyone that has been affected growing up by having a split household. It seems like those are the types of individuals that are even more likely to lock it in, right? Does anybody else feel that? Uh, one thing I noticed, people in the UK get married a lot more than people in the USA. Why do people in the UK get married more than people in the USA? I think people in the USA are so concerned with status and money and 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 their symbol and they put that above partnership they put that above um companionship and and, and marriage and whereas i think in the uk people are getting married all the time non-stop it seems like someone's always getting married in the UK. It seems like my wife is always dragging me to London because somebody's getting married. And I was just thinking about that the other day. Why is everybody in the UK getting married and nobody here is getting married? Why does everybody in the UK want to have a big family and there's people here that want to have families. There's people here that are married. But I do think overall this generation is more likely to be married and more likely to stay in a long-term marriage. Uh, but there is a stark difference between the U.S. and the U.K. in terms of frequency of marriage, in terms of reasoning for marriage, in terms of uh, age. It feels like everybody in America wants to wait until they're old and they got a million dollars in the bank to get married. And if that's what you want to do, that's fine. I'm not going to say don't do that. However, remember this, ladies and gentlemen and non-binary individuals out there. Partners, uh, you know, a, a teammate, a true teammate is what really makes the world go round. You need a partner to win. And I, I want you all to win, truly, but settle down. Settle down. If you settle down, you're going to be more focused. If you settle down, you're going to have more reasoning. If you have kids, you will have less time to do anything. If you have kids, you will have less time to focus on your passions. But when you decide to focus on your passions, when you decide to put that time into your passion, 
And that moment, it's, it's, it's vital, it's important. The stakes are high, it's important. So the passionate investment is going to have more of a reward, you see? In the future, I'm gonna bring this camera a little bit lower. I do think, do I need to sit back? I don't know. It's a telephoto, so it's kind of tricky. I think it looks good, but I would like a little bit more head and a little bit more shoulder and a little bit more knees and toes. Anyways, that's it. Voyager rants, Voyager vlog, Voyager vault, Voyager talks, Voyager walks, Voyager drives, Voyager eats, Voyager vibes. Those are all channels that I'm managing right now. So follow them all because they're all different and they all offer different windows into what I think makes the world beautiful. That's all. Watch this video right here. Oh, you can watch that video right there too. I'm gonna give you a second, watch them. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe, drop a comment, drop a comment, I love y'all. Water fast, water fast, water fast, water fast. Do it, try it. Let me know what your experience is. Make a YouTube video about it. That would be cool, right? Peace out, one love. Boom.